Yes, guys, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, as promised, and what's fulfilled is that we're going to be playing a new installment, a new stream, <coughs> a new game. You know what it is already Hogwarts Legacy. Looking forward to this one because, you know, it's brand new. Literally copped it today. Shout out. Shout out to Amazon. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this one. Should be good. <laughs> Should be good. goes without saying Harry Potter has been a big part of my childhood I'll tell you that from the menu philosophy. leader off mm. press L2 button to toggle uh, I don't want none of that um, menu reader off that's fine yeah I mean I've been a huge fan of Harry Potter from the very beginning from the first installment of the Philosopher's Stone <coughs> then obviously the Chamber of Secrets the Prisoner of Azkaban Goblet of Fire. Um, what was the other one? The Order of the Phoenix. This is off the dome because it's been a while since I actually had to think about it. Um, then Half Blood Prince. And there was another one after that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> in a nutshell, we know we know we know about Harry Potter. Man. We know about Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, <laughs> Spelliarmus, who guard him, Leviosa, all that shit. So yeah, um, we know about that, man. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's, 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 let's continue. We don't need to worry about none of that. We don't need to worry about any of that. Uh, fidelity, high, high fidelity rendering mode, favorable resolution on graphical, graph, graphical quality. Oh, performance. That's what we want. We want that nice extra performance, just real, real effective, you know. Oh. Do I really have to do that now? Well, I want to. Uh, all right, cool. Give me one second. I shall do that. I'll link this from the beginning so I don't have to do it again but I just want to um um I can know it's actually fine I, th I thought I had to do this on the actual system but it's okay we're back. Give me one second. Let me just sort this out. Moon or stars? Choose one to continue. Choose one to continue. Moon or the stars? Mm. Let's go with the stars. Once, because right now I'm sorting my my house from my phone. So whether I'm going to be in Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. Once every century, the Futterby bush pr uh, produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If you, if it lured you, it would smell of the sea, home, crackling log of fire, fresh parchment. Um, once every century, the flower bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. 
if it lured you it would smell of okay if it lured if it lured me um if it lured me what would it smell of the sea home crackling log of fire you know i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with the sea i like the sea a muggle confronts you and says that that they are sure you are a witch or a wizard do you ask what makes them think so tell them you're worried about them in town for not for the call a doctor agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of the chinks agree and walk away leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing yeah therefore if you're attending hogwarts if you're if you're attending hogwarts which pet would you choose to take with you cats toads owls just to show you what I'm doing, yeah, I'm literally on the phone trying to do all of that shit. Uh, owl, for sure, yeah, definitely. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Owl, barn owl, tall owl, snowy owl, screech owl, brown owl. Uh, the snowy owl looks cool, actually. Yeah, snowy owl. After you have died, what, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? If I died, after I died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you but smile. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Think with admiration of your achievements. Ask for more stories. Mm. Yeah, uh, you know what? I was gonna go with. Okay, I'll go with that one. Think with admiration of my achievement. Yeah, just just think about what I've done while I was alive, and just yeah, just have a moment. You ain't gotta go deep. Just have a moment. Uh, okay, what's this? A troll has gone berserk in the head. This is fucking. <laughs> Ugh, we nearly done, don't worry. Because I want to get involved. Not Voldemort for starters. <laughs> A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? A nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Select a position for the cure. What? Okay, sorry. Which order would I do? Uh, a nearly perfected cure of dragon for for dragon box. Dragon box nearly perfected. Mm, three. Student records going back a thousand years. Mm, student records going back a thousand years. I'll say two. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes.
my apologies we're back we're back we're back all right um let's finish this so it was literally the order in which items i would save from ranked one two and three so i thought the ruins would be important so i put number one the, uh, the student records going back a thousand years i guess number two and then this nearly perfected cure for dragon pox three confirm it if you could have any power which would you choose Ooh. the power to read minds oh man the power to change the past the power of invisibility the power to speak to animals nah the power of superhuman strength oh man oh that's a, that's 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 up there that's up there for sure um the power to change your appearance at will nah it's between strength and reading minds for me reading minds would be so so useful but strength is more useful because that's what it boils down to really doesn't it uh white or black white or black black uh the sorting hat is ready to make his decision oh this is all on the phone by the way i'm not even that touch obviously yeah you can't see shit um because it's linked to the phone anyway um sort it. right let's see what house am i oh damn <laughs> do you want to have a guess have a guess i won't say it yet hopefully the game would would if this is linked and synced to the game, it would then just automatically put me in the house, so you'll see. But yeah, fair enough. Interesting. I want to do all this pre setup before this actually starts, so it's 13 minutes of doing this shit. First of all, we'll just grab ourselves for some giant. My eyes are dark brown, black. Which, which was the day on which you were born? It was an even number. Do you move? Do you most pride yourself on your? Traveling, uh, traveling alone down a deserted road. You reach a crossroad. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest? Mm. Why am I going towards the sea for? I'll go towards the castle, right? What do you most fear? Fire, darkness, isolation, heights, small spaces. Amongst these, small spaces. I don't like enclosed spaces, claustrophobic and shit, you can't really move. It's like like similar to those people that do you go into those caves and literally do those hobbies of going in deep in caves and in tight enclosed spaces. I can't do that, no way. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, ornate mirror, glittering jewel, bound scroll, golden key, dusty bottle, black glove. Golden key, silver dagger, silver dagger, golden key. What? Up, what does that golden key open? Do you know what I'm saying? Glittering jewel. There's many jewels. Dusty bowl. Now, nah, golden key. A black walnut wood with phoenix core, twelve and a quarter inch, and unyielding flexibility. All right. So I've got my custom wand and I think that's it. Damn that took long. Oh crap. <laughs> Told you there, didn't it? Yep, I'm in Slytherin. 
So just ponder that and fathom that and uh, take what you will from that. Oh, do I have to do this too? What the hell? Oh, I've already... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Finally. Sorry about that, guys. That took a while. We are in. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins 1st of September. Pel preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliza Fig, oh yeah, Eliza, to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Your sincerely, your sincerely, Professor Weasley. Ha <laughs> Ron's dad, funny. Deputy Head... Sorry, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress, sorry. Ron's mom. Ronald Weasley's mom. Right. Let's get to it. Oh, man, I've got to do all this too, yeah? Ah. Okay. Damn, there's a lot. Between him and him, for sure. Okay. I'm trying to make it look like me, kind of. But I don't know if, how that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is mad. Handsome lad. Handsome lad.
There's so many styles. Now, ideally, I want to keep the hair black. Can I change his hairstyle during game uh, during gameplay? To oh wait, this is alright. Is that the style he had before? Nah, nah, we can. Yeah, that's cool. We can work with that. Uh, complexion. Yeah, give him little tiny little spots. Little, little freckle, doesn't matter. Doesn't hurt. Ah, cool. Oh, scar. Hey, why are you looking at hey, Ayo? The way how you just looking at man like that, like, the, the, the way you watch. <laughs> you watching, man. Mm. You know what? Sorry, I'm just looking at this, my screen here and it just looks so dark. I hope it's not dark for you guys as well, because annoy me because it's bright on my screen but as long as you can see it I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Nah. That was quite something. What? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going... A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Nah. I mean, it was... A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That's the deepest we can go, so we'll, 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 we'll keep with that. Let's see, normal, yeah, normal for now, I'm literally just starting out. Name him. He must name a character. Good name. <clears throat> what should I name him? I don't want him to name him my name, that's a bit. Truth, 
What can change the truth? This truth. Hey, my name is Truth, and I am a wizard at Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah cool. Keep the truth. Truth it is. Not a bitch. God forbid. That was long. Did it. That was mad one. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fitter goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. You know what? Ages kind of since I've been to the castle. It would be good to see the old pile of rocks. It's a bit too deep. Well, it's not... It's like a different type of tone of deep. It's not like a deep I want uh, a fucking So far, Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. 
It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. What's that glow, Blood? Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Wiganweld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What's that? Wiganweld potion? Wiganweld potion. Cool. I remember that. Wiganweld. 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 What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. Yeah, yeah. We've no, no right, idea man. who created this port key. Yeah, no idea at all. Or well, why? All right, I, I've grown accustomed to his voice now, so his voice is alright. from London and the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Any path is a good path, as long as it leads to home. Wherever it is to lead. Mind your step. To get to. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. <laughs> Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. That's how you do it, yeah? Alright, some players prefer... Okay, I need to read that shit. We literally learn on the job. We don't read too much. Ah, that is jokes. So, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this game. I can already tell. I'm gonna get that. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm a quick learner, innit? Professor Fick, you know like that? Like, you know how you just man just man, man just learns. Don't take long. Ah! Up there! Sorry, I'm just having practice. I'm just getting We're close practice. now, it's just ahead. They valued their privacy. Was that port key led us here for a reason? Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Anything that seems out of place. Mini map shows. Okay, cool. Mini map. Blah 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 blah. Uh, don't really need to read that because I know what that's about. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Did crystallize stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. 
Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow in the port key container. That was just saying. Sleep. Someone had someone had nap. Oh, in the front. Who's this? Hello? Goblin banker. Uh, it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> take it time. Take it time. <clears throat> uh, no anything here. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, man, come on. The way you back and slow, man. Come on. This way, then. Back in there, sluggish. Stay close. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Do we look to you? That job. What are you? It's a goblin shoot. Don't worry. Relax. Relax. It's a different breed of goblin. Um, Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Oh. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore.
When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh, I wanted to see what was Thank you for your help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fifty six coins. We rich, rich. We rich, rich. What can I buy me? A wicked weld potion. Is that what it's called? Wicked weld. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. Could have told me that. Professor, me that. that was certainly unexpected. Unannounced, yeah. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. That's cool. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Good thing he has Lumos, because... This is dark. I see something up ahead. Can't see none. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? The one right there. You I see, see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Yeah. Well, you can't see that, but I can see it. That's interesting. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yes. It is. Correct. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Ah. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yeah, let me cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It 
does follow the light. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos! Where am I supposed to go? Forget that, I saw a chest What's happening. happening. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, but I saw a chest. Hold on. Before I do that, where the chest at? I saw something. Revelio! Yeah, there you are. Lumos, Revelio. Lumos. Is there any more chests? Lumos, Revelio. There's a chest over there. Lumos. Yeah. I'm a sucker for loot. Sorry, love loot. Love loot. Revelio. Oh, loot, man. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That cool. glow again. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. Let's get this chest. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. 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 Lumos. That's going to be in my head when I sleep now. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. did that. a Lumos for one statue without one blood clot time. How does that work? How does that work? Oh, is that how it, it works? seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Got it. In one coordinate. Or oh, is that coefficient? Yeah. Oh. Protego. That was it. Wait, why can't I... Um, That was alright. 
Jew whole Britigo to start it. I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Mm. I wonder. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> yeah. Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to. Oh, he does not. I have no shit. patience for traitors. Yeah. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well. Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yeah, that was an interesting introduction.
Hmm. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? We already know where I'm going. <laughs> Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor this? Weasley, we've person? one more to be sorted. Kim, I know we Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. All right. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. Mm -hmm. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Perhaps so. I accept. I mean, I can't change that. That that's just like this. You belong in Slytherin. Let's just stick to it. Yeah, they put me in Slytherin. I'll stay in Slytherin. It's fine. It's cool. Part of the man living city. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Respect. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Are you taking a piss? I love Qu what. Enough! Oh. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Oh. But yeah. don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Man, how are you going to cancel quid Quidditch? Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. 
I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Thank you. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. That Ron's mum. Right this way. Ronald Weasley's mum. Ron's mum. <laughs> it's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Nice. Well, Very well. Do I actually speak it myself? That'd be kind of cool. Aspiration. Oh. So I can speak the controller. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Appreciate. Looks yeah. like everyone's gone. Hmm. Better head to the common room. Yeah, I don't mind this this outfit and this color scheme. It works. Green. Green's good. Or well, green can be bad. As it can represent envy. Or oh, no, not envy. Yeah, envy. Jealousy. Green. All of that jazz. Anyone that wants to step to man, I will just blast them with my wand in it. Like that. So listen, let me just walk through. I suppose some introductions are in order. Nah, that's long. Let's walk through. I mean, slip. We, we don't give a shit. Must be different. <sighs> Starting Hogwarts in your who's, fifth year. Who's, who's Emelda? Are you Emelda? Like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? things to look at. What's this? Oh, I can eat some shit. Imagine starting a new school this late. Is that nuts? Revelio, 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 Yes. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figg's who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figg are all right. Yes. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Mm. What book were you reading? Yeah, a spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. <laughs> Elaborate. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Mm. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Appreciate that, Sebastian. I'm on to you. But hey, what? What were you reading? What book is that? Don't worry, I'll find out. Don't worry about that. I'll find out. Yeah, yeah look at you, look at you. You're a bit <laughs> secretive of that book. Don't worry, I'll find out. Yeah. Bear secret. 
it's about. Look at all these men just chilling. We, we, we. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Who's? Are you watching? I did it. What? What? Uh, might want to think that again. Oh, sorry. I apologize. You weren't. Oh, sorry. It was you talking, Imelda Re Rees? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Hey, Don't say you... I didn't warn you. Magic. Checkmate. Told you. Okay. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Okay. Yeah, we handled that. We did. We, we, we needed no assistance whatsoever. We handled it. Yeah. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps right. one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. All right, do you think? Well, hold on. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. I don't really care about chess. Do you fly a lot? Because how does that have relevance for later on? So, did you, do you fly? She kind of already. Do you time. have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Yeah, I suppose so. That sounds nice. I might as well ask that. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Mm. Fair enough. Farewell. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> He did not want to have no more conversation. Like, Goodbye. Get out of my face. Look at this guy. Hey, just, just lurking there in the corner. What are you doing? We're just watching, man. What are you doing? Ominous gaunt. Okay. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Just doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Oh, you're blind. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. My apologies, Ominous. I didn't know you were blind. Memorable, more like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. Here. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. He is blind, right? Because he's not looking at me directly. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin to my way off? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Word? Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure-blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. No, it's cool, man. I'll be a bar. Is the I'll new fifth year Slytherin in here? <laughs> Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Present. Where am I at? Where? By the stairs. Oh, I'm coming. Do I want any? What? Anyone got a problem? What? What? Hey, look at you. You're trying to. You're trying to do a little. Oh, I thought you're trying to do a little thing there. Oh, I see you. I see you. He's watching me, but <laughs> yo, you saw nothing. Everything. 
There's plenty to explore here, isn't there? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially okay. as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? OWLs? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Nice. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps yeah, seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk yeah, with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses here. Yeah. Hold, we'll just wait a second here. Yeah. We're just going to see. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. I Using the guide will also train you to be Aww. alert to your surroundings. Where does she even go? Revelio. Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. Do keep up. I'm right behind you, bitch. Relax. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Revelio. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Gotcha. Ah. Gotcha. You just love the field guy challenge your progress to this Field guy challenges are the only way to acquire blah 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 blah. Okay, XP, experience, that's what we like, don't we? Experience points. Open field guide. How, how do I open the field guide? Oh. This was, uh, da, 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 da. Challenges. Field guide. Tracks of Raw. Combat. Exploration quest. Yo, there's a bunch of stuff to do, isn't it? Okay. Wow. Hold on, let me open that back up real quick. I saw something interesting. What's this? Ooh. That's why. That's what I wanted to see. Hand gear. Oh, got. Yeah, put them gloves on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them gloves on. Uh, uh, nah. You're not a glasses, man. Truth. Nah. Keep your hair out. What else we got? <laughs> Never that. Uh, yeah, we can keep that for now. That works. That works. Well, quite a few 
things. Quests. Double teleports. Occasions. Gotcha. That's it. Challenges. That. That. What? Gear appearance will Collect two fuel guide pages. Okay. Cool. Clever, isn't it? Mm. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Understood. Oh shit. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Got it. Central Hall. That's the grand staircase. And here we are, quite the time saver. These quick. stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Quickly from Central Always Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Hogsmeade is that marketplace with shops in it. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops, shops and pubs. pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay, cool. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense mm. Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Professor who? Hecate. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Much appreciated for the intel. Thank you, Ron's mum. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I 
Teller. Um, yeah, go on. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, oh, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Oh, shit. Did I just, did I just spill some tea? Speak of the devil? Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Okay, and I get it. invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. How yes, many Professor. Times are you tell me about Come the field and find guide, me in my but... classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. If you mention field guide one more time, I know about the field guide. Shit. Yo, frog one, Professor. We tell him. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about oh, shit. exploring ruins? Ah, oh, spill oh, he's gonna he's, he's gonna <laughs> um. <laughs> Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else yeah. about her travels here. I will say I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now. As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Can check a little quiz on the map. Uh, okay, that represents the main quest. Can we the main quest? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Is that Leviosa? The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Oh, that's sick. Well, I think this was a nice introductory um, segment to... Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to call it here for this stream and uh, we'll continue tomorrow, literally right where we left off, right here. So, yeah.
I've been Mr. Hewitt. Thanks for viewing. Until next time.